Well, hello! Welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. Yes! I love Fridays, right? How about you guys? Um, so yeah, I actually just got back. Well, I shouldn't say just got back, but we had our weekend retreat last weekend, which was awesome. I love that weekend. Hey, Wendy, how are you doing? So if you ever have any interest in basically having like so much fun, you can't even stand it. Hey, Philomena. Hey, Nikki. How are you guys? You should think about coming to our weekend retreat. So like I said, we just had it last Saturday. So we start at like four o'clock Friday. We go all day Saturday. Well, hold on. All day, all Friday night, all day Saturday. Hey, Susan from Florida. Oh, so you probably don't need a puffy vest right now, do you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I had to wear my, oh, okay, sorry, I'm already off topic. You know, that's how this goes, right? So I got my little Stampin' Up! vest on here with this fun little blue accent on it. Um, no, no puppy vest for you. Hey, how is everybody doing? So yeah, we got this um, vest on the incentive trip, the Greek Isle Cruise. And it was so funny because it was so hot when we were on that trip that you get this vest and you're like, oh, when am I ever going to wear that? But now like, oh, it feels so good and cozy and warm because it is freezing cold here in Michigan these days. Oh my gosh. The funny thing was though that my dog, um, Storm, hey Storm. <laughs> when I put this jacket on, he thought we were going somewhere. And I, I'd like just put it on before I hit like play here or, or go on Facebook Live. And um, so anyway, he's right underneath my feet and I didn't even see him. And you know, it was one of those you like, he's, he's a little Shih Tzu. He's actually not little. Um, he's a pretty good sized Shih Tzu. But anyway, he's still pretty low to the ground. And he's almost, he's pretty dark um, in color and the floor is really dark too. So I didn't see him and I almost like tripped over him. <laughs> So I'm like, dude, you cannot stand right underneath my feet while I do the Facebook Live. So, okay, yeah, so back to weekend retreat. So if, like I said, if you have any interest, we hold it in Lansing, Michigan, um, south of me here. It's like 45 minutes to an hour south, middle of the state, really easy to get to from wherever you are in the country, I promise. We have so much fun. Okay, so the next weekend retreat is on March 13th through the 15th. So like I said, we start Friday afternoon at four o'clock. You can craft, create, play, enjoy yourself all night, Friday night, all day Saturday, all day Saturday night. And then um, <clears throat> Sunday, we usually pack up like around noon or one, but we have the room until about two o'clock. So you've got a good portion of Sunday also. By then you're pretty exhausted. At least I know I am because I we stay up really late. The best part about this weekend was that it was the time change, so we had an extra hour of crafting fun. So that that was very cool. It was one of those, like, um, I think I went to bed at 2.30, but it was really only 1.30, so that was very cool <laughs> on Saturday night. So anyway, yeah, we so we feed you. We make you cute little treats that we give you all weekend long. We have make and takes. We have other optional classes for you to do. We bring um, lots of examples, samples, and inspiration. Um, we play fun games. Did I say we feed you? We give you lots of treats and snacks. And it. I was joking because like I feel like literally when you walk into this conference center I, like I literally walked in the door I had a snack on my way from Alma down to Lansing which is about an hour drive and I walked in the door and I was honestly like I'm hungry there's something about that place that makes me hungry <laughs> hey I know Susan I wish you could come maybe someday right although I don't know would you want to come in November or in March Neither one of those are very good, but that's why we do it, right? Because you don't even care if you're inside, like who cares what the weather is like because it's usually cold and not very not very appealing to be outside. So hey, Diana, how are you doing? Good morning. So yeah, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to get you signed up for that, um, the next weekend retreat. I'm trying to remember my dates. I don't have that right in front of me. There is some kind of a, you know, if you sign up by a certain day, you get an extra free um, this time we actually did a free, another fun free project that you got to make. Super cute little tin that of course I don't have here with me. Um, but sometimes it's an extra prize in your goodie bag. Sometimes it's an extra kind of treat, make and take kind of a thing. So you never know. Um, but yeah, if you, if you tell me now, you're definitely meeting that deadline, um, the early sign up deadline. So I have been emailing um, and I will be posting, I have to get that up onto my blog too. So watch for more details on that, but let me know if you have any questions. The other thing is the one day retreat. If you're like, I don't know if I can do a whole weekend, maybe the one day retreat is a good idea for you, which the next one of those, my one day crafting retreat, I call that, and that's right here in Alma, 
just down the street from me here at St. Mary's School. We, uh, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday, April 18th. So think about that one. Same idea <clears throat> in both of them. I bring all of my big shot, my die cutting stuff. Um, I bring my embossing folders. I bring my stamp sets and my punches. So you get use of all of that stuff either all weekend at the weekend retreat or all day at the one day retreat. Plus you get a goodie bag there too. And we have make and takes and same idea. It's just on like a smaller scale just for the day. So Saturday, April 18th, mark your calendars. And I will tell you these things make great Christmas presents too. So you know your family's always like mom or grandma or whoever, what should we get you for Christmas? And you're always like, oh, I don't need anything. That's okay. Don't say that. Tell them that you want to go to this weekend retreat or the one day retreat and maybe they can help you um, cover the cost of that. So it's kind of a fun um, little idea there for you for Christmas because you know the kids want to do something for you, right? So maybe they can throw in a little bit um, toward helping you out to pay for that. So yeah, something to think about or get, have them get in touch with me and I can help get them um, get you paid and signed up. All, um, yeah, and they'll make some cute little certificate or something. So yeah, let me know. I would love to help you out with that too. The other thing too, Stampin' Up! is always a great um, Christmas idea, right? So again, if your family or friends are asking you, what would you like for Christmas? Maybe you ought to make out a little wish list of things that you are um, wanting either out of the holiday or the annual catalog and tell them to get a hold of me and I'll hook them up. Basically, I'll help them get an order placed and get you some fun new uh, product to play with. So another great idea. Um, I know it seems kind of crazy to be thinking about Christmas, but I am definitely in the mode. It took me a long time. It always does with like holiday catalog stuff to get into it. Totally into it. Actually worried that like, oh my gosh, timing. You, if you want to make Christmas cards, you need to get things ordered as soon as possible because it takes a little while, you know, for Stampin' Up! to ship them to you. Um, and then, you know, so have some time to relax and enjoy yourself while you're crafting too, instead of last minute, like, flurry of activity trying to get your Christmas cards made. So be thinking about that now and get your orders in soon so that you don't have to rush to get your projects complete. Hey Kay, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, so let's see, oh, I wanna say too, welcome. If anybody's new to Facebook Live, I love to welcome new people watching either on the live or if you can't watch live, because I know this isn't always convenient time for everybody if you're watching later. So hello and welcome. I'm glad you can join us at any time to watch Facebook Live, so thank you. Um, okay, let's see, what else? Oh, okay, so one other kind of meh thing I have to tell you guys about. Um, Stampin' Up! just announced that Purple Posy, our ink pad and our ink refill, we can't get them any longer. Oh, your break is over. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on break while you could. I appreciate that. And hey, Tammy, how are you doing? I'm glad you could join us. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, yeah, so Purple Posy, it's kind of a bummer. So, you know, it was available, I think during pre-order maybe anyway, and then it wasn't available for a really long time. They made it available because they thought they had all the issues worked out. What I, what I believe happens is once you stamp Purple Posy on something, the color kind of alters or I don't, I, I have really barely used mine and, and, and you might not even have a problem. So if you have a Purple Posy ink pad and you're having a problem, you can call 1-800-STAMP-UP and they will give you like a coupon code. Um, I can't remember the dollar value, but for probably for whatever the price of the ink pad is um, to kind of compensate you if you're having problems with it. They're not going to replace them because they don't have any more to ship out. Um, and if you missed ordering, um, that's how that goes. I, I don't really know. It's so weird that we don't ever, I, I don't ever remember this happening before that, um, you know, they offered something and then it just didn't work out. So anyway, it's kind of a bummer, but you know, shed a tear and then move on. There are like how many other colors of ink pads that we can use. And honestly, all along, I've been using Purple Posy cardstock and the ribbon and using other ink pad colors and it's been working out just fine too. So keep that in mind also. So it's a bomber. Um, so again, if you don't have Purple Posy ink pad and ink refill, you can't get them any longer and they're not gonna offer them. They thought they had the problem figured out and I guess not. So they're just, they're calling it good, I guess, basically. So anyway, it's a bummer, but I guess, you know, those things happen. There are worse things in the world, right? Than not having a Purple Posy ink pad and ink refill. Okay, we keep keep our perspective, right? Oh, hold on, I got a text. Hold on, it's my friend saying she wants to go to a concert with me. <laughs> Yay, I'll have to respond to that. 
Okay, concerts are always fun. I love, so I don't, this is totally off topic, but one of my favorite bands is a band called Old Dominion. It's a country um, band, basically, and I love them. I love his voice. There's something about his voice that's just like so <laughs> yummy to me. So anyway, I've, I've seen them a few times in concert, and this friend of mine um, just texted me that they were on Good Morning America yesterday morning, and she thought of me, so she sent me the text, and I was like, hey, do you want to go see them sometime? So anyway, we might be doing that till like next August. It's forever away, but you know, I guess that's how it goes, right? So, um, okay, what else is going on? Oh yeah, bingo! Last night we played bingo at the stamp studio, which was awesome. We had so much fun playing bingo. So that was my live bingo event at the stamp studio. Everybody gets, um, they got like a little sampler pack of the Let It Snow designer series paper, which is our product of the week this week. <laughs> you, oh, Nikki, you do too. Oh my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's his voice, isn't it? There's just something, I don't know. He, plus he's kind of cute. I mean, he's totally married, but you know, you can still think he's cute, right? <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, back to bingo. They got a, um, a sampler, kind of like a quarter of a pack of the Let It Snow designer series paper. I made a cute little treat that I had meant to show you guys but I gave them all away. I didn't make an extra one, which was kind of like silly of me. So anyway, it was a cute little um, gift bag kind of a thing made with the Let It Snow Designer Series paper. We did some make and takes, and then we played bingo. We played lots and lots of bingo, and there were lots of awesome prizes that were given away. Um, so obviously you can't make it to the live event because we just had that last night, but if you want to play bingo with me, sign up for the online bingo event. That one, you get an even bigger, better goodie bag because I want to make sure I have this thing. I mean, I know bingo, not everybody wins, but there's a part of me that like I want everybody, you know, to win at bingo, right? So in order to do that, I send out a really nice goodie bag or kind of um, swag bag to everybody um, that signs up for bingo. So I'll mail that to you. Hey, thank you for the uh, share, Tammy. And hey, Sharon, how are you doing? Uh, Sharon was at bingo last night. She can tell you guys how much fun she had. She was pretty hilarious last night too. Um, okay, so yeah, I send you the swag bag. I send you the bingo boards. Um, and then we play bingo on a Facebook Live. I set up a separate group and we play um, bingo on that Facebook Live. What else? Make and takes, did I say that? We have make and takes, and we will be doing the make and takes on the Facebook Live. I'll do it just like I'm doing right here. Well, we'll I'll um, call numbers and so on, and then I'll move the camera down and we'll make projects together, basically, with our make and takes, and then um, play some more bingo. So yeah, I think, I haven't worked out the exact details of how we're gonna do it, but um, have ideas in my head. So anyway, and even if you're local and you wanna just sit at home in your PJs and play bingo with me, that's another great option too. Um, and actually, if you're local, I have basically included an $8 shipping fee in like, I think it's $49 to play the online bingo. But if you're local and wanna pick up your package of stuff and then play at home, it, I take off that $8 fee. So it's only $41 to play online bingo on Facebook Live. So I'm looking for more people because the more people we have, the bigger, better prizes that I can get for everybody too. So let me know. <laughs> Sharon, yes, lots of fun happens at bingo. Yes, it does. Uh, <laughs> I was going to make another comment, but I think I'm going to not. <laughs> I'm just going to move right on. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't think I said online bingo on the Facebook Live is on Thursday, December 5th at 6.30 Eastern Time. So Michigan Time, Eastern Time. And I need RSVP and payment by Monday, November 18th. So that's a little over a week from now, right? So, okay, uh, other quick things just to mention, I have um, the Simple Beautiful Car Class is next week on Wednesday, which is November 13th, anytime from 6 until 8.30. It does not take you that whole time, but that way if you can't get there right at 6, you don't have to feel bad. Um, <clears throat> oh, Tammy's gonna sign up tonight. Woo, 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 awesome. I'm glad you can do that, Tammy. Thank you. Um, yeah, oh, brain freeze, brain like fart moment here. Oh, we're on um, card class, yeah. Next Wednesday, 6 to 8.30, and then Friday afternoon, November 15th from one until three. So either of those times, we always make four simple, beautiful cards at class. And I had somebody asking about a tutorial, Stacy. I think maybe it was you. Um, Okay, Philomena, are you saying, um, do you want to play bingo? You're welcome to. I would love to have you do that. I'm not sure the me too. I'm sorry I'm not following um, that. But yeah, if you if you want to play bingo or whatever else the me too is, let me know. Um, 
Sorry, my head. Okay, what was I? Oh, oh yeah, class. So somebody, um, Stacy, was asking about a tutorial for um, the Simple Beautiful card class cards. And I'm gonna be honest with you, usually at least one, if not two of the cards that we make at class next week will be on Facebook Live. It's a great way. Hey, Peggy, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Oh yes, bingo. Awesome, Philomena. I would love for you to do that. Thank you. Um, I've been emailing about it, but if you need me to send you the link to sign up, I'm happy to do that. So just let me know. Um, why do I keep having these moments? Oh yeah, cards. Yeah, so a lot of times the cards that we make at class are cards that I demonstrate on Facebook Live. If I don't demonstrate them on Facebook Live, they usually end up on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So there's no official like tutorial of the four cards, but between Facebook Live and my blog, you're gonna see all four of the cards and know how to make all of them. Because when I post a card on my blog, I basically tell you step-by-step step how to put it together as if you know, I write that up as if I'm putting it together the way I would in, like really put it together showing you on a live or something. So, okay, I will send that link, Philomena. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, what else, what else? You know, I have like all my lists here. It's funny, I watch other people who don't have any lists. And I'm like, I don't know how they do it. I don't, can't remember. <laughs> can't remember everything. Yes, I'm glad to have you. I'm glad, um, yes, that you're here, Miss Peggy. Um, okay, let's see. I think, oh, okay, we are ready to do our first drawing. I've blabbered enough, right? I think we've waited, yeah, I've waited a sufficient amount to make sure people are on, right? So this week we are giving away, this is that gold shimmer ribbon, which I absolutely love. It's just beautiful and very easy to tie to. Hey, Roseanne, how are you doing? So your name went in my pretty blue Stampin' Up! trash, the collapsible collapsible trash bag, right? If you shared the video, oh, the sun is coming out. Now we're getting a glare. Love the sun, but go away for like another 30 minutes if you would, please. Um, okay, yeah. So if you shared the Facebook Live video or if you're new to me and you signed up for my email list, your name is in here. And we are going to mix these names around. Okay, the sun listened. It's fairly cloudy, really, so I'm not surprised. I just peeked out for a sec. Okay, so the winner of that, is that right? No, you know what, that's not right, that's this week's. Sorry, back up, hold on, let me make sure. Yeah, yeah, no, we're drawing. Next week we're gonna draw for the gold shimmer ribbon, right? This week we are drawing for the gold glitter enamel dots. I was so excited about both of these to be giving them away. So sorry, I'm glad I hadn't actually pulled that out yet. So the winner of the drawing that I'm gonna do right now is gonna get these gold glitter enamel dots. And then next week, if you share the video or if you sign up for my email list, your name will go in the drawing to get that gold shimmer ribbon. Okay, sorry. You know, you know when you're gone for a week, like I'm just off a little bit. There's always an excuse for me though. <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> there's always. Okay, the winner is Miss Debbie Green. And I know she watches from further south of me down in Michigan. So Debbie, I will get these gold glitter enamel dots sent out to you. If, you know what, send me your email address. Either send me a Facebook message or email me um, to let me know your address because I'm, I'm not sure if I have it. So Miss Debbie, congratulations, and I will get these sent out to you as soon as I get your um, mailing address from you, okay? All right, let me scoot that out of the way. <clears throat> And, all right, there we go. Get ready for the next drawing. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you, Diana. It's, um, you You weren't here, I think, when I was explaining. We got this vest on um, the Greek Isles cruise, the, our incentive trip. And I think they do, it, it looks, these are like Greek colors to me, the black with the white, the super crisp white with that um, accent of blue. That's like, I don't know, it just feels, it feels very Greek to me. And actually, I don't know if you, maybe you can't see, I'll turn all the way around, but there's like the little logo, the Greek Isles logo back there too. Sorry, hopefully I wasn't showing anything else I didn't want you guys to see. So yeah, it's very cozy. It's just one of those, you know, slip it on if you need a little more warmth. So I'm enjoying it. But I was saying before that I was like, when we got it, it was like 90 degrees and I thought, Ugh, I didn't even want to like touch it because it seemed like way too hot. But now it's good because it's freezing now. So it's definitely the right time to be wearing this. So Okay, let's see. Um, quick shout out. I have a couple of fun um, shout outs. 
is that how you pluralize that, uh, to some gals in my downline. So Miss Julie Wilmot, congratulations, she just reached what we call qualified recruit status, which basically means she has gotten to $900 in kind of accumulated rolling 12 month sales. So um, she is halfway to promoting to Bronze Elite, which is at $1,800 in sales. And then you get a 25% discount, 25 discount or 25% off all of your orders when you get to Bronze Elite. So, but back at Qualified Recruit, I love to reward anyone in my team in all three of my levels when you get to certain levels or points um, within Stampin' Up! So Julie receives a $25 shopping spree from me for reaching qualified recruit status. So Miss Julie, just let me know what you would like. I love to do that. And I'm happy to do that um, for anyone that joins my team. When you reach those levels, I love to reward you for your hard work and effort in doing that. So with that being said, I also have another shout out to give Miss Diana Boone, which I think you're watching right now, right? So she just reached bronze elite status, which is at $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales. And now she gets 25% off of all of her orders or earns 25% income on everything that she sells. So congratulations, Miss Diana. So that's obviously a huge reward from Stampin' Up! Um, and a great incentive to build up those sales to get to that point. Because then as long as you keep at $1,800 in sales, you're going to keep getting 25% off. And actually, once you reach it right now, it doesn't matter whether you kind of fluctuate up or down from there, but not until next September 30th, then they they do something called retitling, and you want to make sure you're at at least $1,800 in sales then, because then you'll earn that 25% off of your orders for a whole other year. And she also gets a $50 shopping spree from me. So Miss Diana, let me know what she would like for your $50 shopping spree. So like I said, I love to reward People are doing good things and working hard in my Inspired Stampers group. And with that being said, if you are interested in joining my team and becoming an Inkspired Stamper, the starter kit deal is always an awesome deal. You pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. Um, and then you get 20% off of everything that you order after that. Plus, even as a demonstrator, you get our host rewards. So host rewards start at $150 order. Um, so if you put one order in of $150, you earn host rewards or stampin' rewards. I can't remember what we call them anymore. Um, but you get 10% of your $150 order, so $15 in free stuff. You can get the host sets that are in either the back of either the holiday or the annual catalog, or if none of those are what you need or you already have them, you can get whatever else you want out of the catalog. So there's no, you know, just pick whatever you want for your free stuff. And then those host rewards build. So the bigger the order, the higher the percentage and the more free stuff that you can get too. So um, that's an awesome perk even as a demonstrator. Um, and they figure those host rewards before they take the discount off of your order. So you put in $150 in product order, they're going to take 20% off, but they still figure your host rewards at that full catalog value. So hopefully that makes sense. Lots and lots of good reasons to buy that starter kit. Become an Inspired Stamper. You can hang out with me. Um, we do um, Facebook Live um, uh, well, at our meeting, we do a Facebook Live at our meeting. So if you can't join us locally here in Alma, you can hop on the Facebook Live and join us that way too. So um, yeah, and it's just a great group of ladies to be a part of. So if you have any questions on that, let me know because I'd love to get you set up and get that starter kit going for you. It's a great way to get a bunch of product, maybe to make your holiday cards or treats or projects, whatever you're wanting to do, okay? <clears throat> oh, wait, hold on. I still have that. You guys probably remember I was like coughing like crazy the last time I did Facebook Live. That cold went away and then some other something has kind of um, been hanging around with me this week. I don't know. Not enough sleep, I guess, right? So hold on one sec. And that quick sip of water and okay, we are ready now. Okay, one more drawing. So. If you are new to Facebook Live, hey, Vina, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, I wanna make sure, um, especially for new people, that you understand. So in just a few minutes, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of projects. If you put an online order in and use the host code that I'm gonna give you when I turn the camera down, it's also always on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So shop online, use the host code. If you spend at least $30 between 
Um, now and next Wednesday, you're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a few minutes. And the people that actually ordered um, from Wednesday of this last week through last uh, two Fridays ago, Facebook Live, so that was a little while ago, both get these cards that I demonstrated, right? So you're going to get these cards in the mail as a thank you. If you ordered at least $50, you're also going to get a package. This is my um, free embellishment for November. These are the star designer elements. You're going to get a package of those. If you order, I want to make sure that people know this though. So if you order more than $150, don't use the host code. Even though I'm always telling you that on here to use the host code, don't do it then because I want you to get your own host Stampin' Rewards, get your own free stuff. I see all the orders that come in, so I'll know that you put that order in. You'll still get the cards that I demonstrate. You'll still get the free embellishment because your order was at least $50, right? And then your name is going in another drawing in my little bag here to win this itty bitty Christmas stamp set. Whoa, that glare is bad. What if I come over here? There we go. It's this super cute, very versatile with lots of different um, sentiments, lots of different ways to say Merry Christmas. Um, is there even a Happy New Year? Maybe not. I love the little from our home to yours. No peeking till Christmas. So lots of cute, fun little sentiments on here. So, okay, here we go. We are gonna do this drawing. And the winner is of the Itty Bitty Christmas Stamp Set. So everybody gets those cards spent free embellishment. And one lucky person is also going to get Miss Linda Danis. Oh, good night. You can't even see that, can you? There we go. Linda, Miss Linda Danis is the winner of oops, the Itty Bitty Christmas Stamp Set. So Linda, I will get this stamp set and your cards and your free embellishment sent out to you. And then the people that ordered that did not win will still get the cards and the free embellishment. So thank you guys. I truly appreciate um, your online order. So hey Sandy, how are you doing? Um, okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna put these over here so I don't get mixed up. And okay, so now I wanna show you guys. This week, if you order online, you're gonna get those projects that I demonstrate. You're gonna get the um, star designer elements. I think that's what they're called, right? If you order at least $50 and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. This is the hammered metal. There we go, if I get it up close. The hammered metal 3D embossing folder, which looks like absolutely nothing um, when you just show the embossing folder. And I don't think I meant to bring something home from the studio because I'm looking here on my table and I don't have anything to show you guys that uses this. But let's see if we look. I know it's part of um, the Brightly Gleaming Suite. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. So on page 31 of your catalog, you can see. So here's an example. They show that hammered metal embossing folder right there. And then where is it? This one up here. This is actually kind of like the reverse side of it. So you can either have the bubbles kind of popping out or indented in, my very technical way of putting that, but that whole thing right there with the copper, that is using that hammered metal 3D embossing folder. Um, here's another one, the little, right there we go. So that's where the bumps are kind of popping out instead of going inward, but on that, um, they love, they use it on the copper a lot, don't they? So it's very, very cool, very fun um, with all of our foil paper. Copper foil, gold paper, silver foil, there's even black foil, that could be, now that I move, that could be kind of cool. I have to try that sometime. Okay, so yeah, your name will go in the drawing next week to win the hammered metal. Um, it is a 3D embossing folder, okay? All right, I'm looking around all my piles here. It's actually not too bad. Wait till I do the make and takes, then this table is going to be a nightmare. Okay, but I think, all right, we're doing really well, ladies. I'm happy to say here, okay? It is always funny when I'm gone for a week, it's like my game is off a little bit. I'm not in the rhythm of doing Facebook Live, but I don't know. I think we're doing all right today, so <laughs> I hope so anyway. Um, yeah, okay, I think we're ready to move the camera down. All right, I gotta move a couple of things off of here so you guys don't see the craziness. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. Ooh, it's getting very sunny for a moment. And we are going to flip the camera down. So close your eyes, turn your heads away, and I'll tell you when you should watch again, okay? And I'm not gonna call the police. Okay, oops, little oh, guys, there. That looks good, okay. No more pushing those buttons. 
together and calling the police. You do that once and then you learn, right? That's enough of that, okay? To make some adjustments here. Okay, you guys don't wanna see the leg of that, right? Okay, I think we're back. So hopefully the police don't come again because <laughs> that would be really annoying. I, I think Apple needs to fix um, I, <laughs> where they put those dots. I'm just trying to, so you guys don't see the leg of that table or that, my stand, it's bugging me, but I don't know. I'm so afraid now to touch my phone because I don't want to call the police again. Okay, all right, we're gonna call that good. So, okay, I wanna make sure everybody knows. So last Friday was the first day you could order. The Christmas time is here, sweet. So here's the full bundle where you get the whole kit and caboodle with the Christmas rose stamp set, those really pretty gold glimmer enamel dots, the rose dies, the really pretty bracelet, the ribbon, and the designer series paper. That full kit and caboodle, the sweet bundle, is $112.50. You could actually get all of this in a starter kit if you wanted, plus another $12.50 in other stuff too. Um, well, hey Fran, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, they also sell things separately. So you can get the bundle with the Christmas rose stamp set and the dies. And then I really just too excited to show you guys that um, my friend Melissa had color copies of these made. And I was like, Ooh, I want to take one of these. She had them at the weekend retreat. <laughs> so I'm just so proud that I have a color copy here, but this is the stamp set, the Christmas rose stamp set. You can order separately the bracelet, the designer series paper, the dies, the shimmer ribbon, the gold shimmer ribbon, and those gold glitter enamel dots. So beautiful suite of products that's not in the catalog. So just know that. Um, if you were to go to stampinup.com and um, click on shop, and then in the little looking glass, if you typed in Christmas time is here, these things should all pop up for you. And it's probably honestly even on the banner um, when you go there, that's probably the first thing that you see is this whole suite of products that you can order since it's kind of a limited time um, available in November and now while supplies last. So, <coughs> okay, that tickle, bug in my throat. Okay, so you guys know about that. Let me, oh, one other thing I wanna show you before I start stamping. So I announced this and I hadn't been able to show it on a Facebook Live yet, but this is my snowman season class. And I, I say class because I'm doing it as a live class. People were laughing at me as opposed to, I don't know what they were saying, but so at the stamp studio, you can come make two of each of these cards with me on Thursday, November 21st, <coughs> excuse me, at 6 p.m. If you cannot make it to the live class, you can get the to-go version of this class. <coughs> All right. <coughs> it's time for a mint. <coughs> Hold on one sec, ladies. I gotta get my little, my peppermint here. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that will kind of soothe my throat. It's like once it starts, it won't go away. So, okay. Anyway, so the to-go kit version, if you're interested, there are four different options. One includes the stamp set and the punch. The other does not. They both include, and I only have a little bit of this because I've used so much of it, but you get a quarter pack of this Let It Snow Designer Series paper. So here's kind of one side, and this isn't even all of them. This is only four of the six sheets. So there are two more really pretty ones too that you probably will see on the cards also. So anyway, you get a quarter pack of the paper, you get a full bolt of, this is the Coastal, no, this is Bermuda Bay. I interchange it. Bermuda Bay mini striped ribbon that I think looks a lot like Coastal Cabana too, so I use it on these all the time. And then you also get a full package of the Holiday Rhinestones, okay? So option number one with everything and two of each of these cards is $62. If you don't want the stamp set and the punch, do not order option number two, though, if you don't have the stamp set and punch because you have to do your own stamping and punching, right? Um, option number two is $38, all right? And then let's see. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you step-by-step -step how to put the cards together. No product is included, but it just tells you, yeah, step-by-step, -step, all the measurements, colors, everything you need to know to make the cards yourself. That is $15. It's always available even after the RSVP deadline has passed. And then option number four is anyone that is in my Inkspired Stampers group can get the make and take supplies for those four cards 
two of each of them. I give you everything that you need. You are gonna want your get your stamp set and your punch using your own demo ID, so you can get your discount on those, right? But then I'll send you everything else, or you can pick it up, whatever you prefer. Um, that option number four is $12 for anyone that is an Inkspired Stampin' in my downline. My downline also gets the PDF tutorials for free anytime they want them. So people will email me, text me, and ask me to send those, and I send them out whenever you need one of those PDFs. You get those for free from me, okay? Um, if you need these kits shipped to you, it's an additional $8 shipping fee, and RSVPs are due by next Friday, November 15th. So that is for the class to go, and it's also for that live at the studio class on November 21st, okay? And then all kits will ship out no later than November 27th, which is right before Thanksgiving. I'm hoping to even have them sooner than that, but that's my drop dead. I will definitely have them out to you by then, okay? So you guys wanna see the cards real quick? Super cute, you make two of each of these fun. There's that little guy and that one. These little snowmen are so cute. Two of that one and then two of that one. So that is our to-go class for this month. Okay, now, let me just do a double check. Let me make sure. Yeah, we are ready to do our stamping. Okay, <clears throat> so here is the host code. This is a new host code that is on my blog, again, at gatheringinspiration.com. This is the code you're gonna wanna use if you order under $150. If you order more than $150, do not use that host code. I still see all the orders. You still get all the free stuff, okay? Um, oh, actually, let me show you. So I have a couple more. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying that product of the week, the Let It Snow Designer Series paper. And really it's been the whole suite, the whole um, Let It Snow suite. So many cute things in there, right? So I have to share a couple more cards with you guys. This is another fun one that Miss Tammy, I'm gonna get this back to you. So Tammy King came to our weekend retreat and she entered this card into... Um, a drawing that we did. She unfortunately did not win, but I loved her card so much that I had to show you guys on our Facebook Live, because this is so cute. So it flips open here with that little flap, right? And then we've got the inside of the card. And I love, she inspired me to decorate the inside of my cards too. So she put her little strip of designer series paper in there, but isn't that so cute? So that just fits in behind the card base and her white piece with the designer series paper, that little flap just fits right in there. I just thought that was so cute. So beautiful, Tammy, I love your card. Had to share it with everybody. And then these are a couple more really, really simple cards, but I thought they were kind of fun. Oops, my little guy's moving there. Um, show you the little kit, that snow um, snowman embellishment kit. I don't know, whatever it's called. Plus you can see all the designer series paper too, right? See the little hat? and the scarf and the little arms in different colors, right? So basically the same type of card, showing you different paper and then the different little thingies. Those little mittens, aren't those so cute? The little felt. So hat, scarf, and mittens, you can get all those. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about the kit. And then these, again, basically just show off the really cute designer series paper that is in that paper pack. Love it. If I didn't mention, I'm pretty sure that to-go kit also includes yeah, I did say that, didn't I? So yeah, all of these pretty patterns, you get a quarter of that pack of designer series paper in the to-go kits too. So super cute. Oh, here's another little, this was a little treat that um, Melissa, the friend of mine that we, um, that she runs the retreat, really she does most of it because it's mostly her people <laughs> that come. She's been doing this for a long time. But anyway, this is a super cute little treat. And there may or may not have been some Hershey Kisses in there at one time. But this was one of the little treats that she gave everybody at the weekend retreat. So super cute little guy. Okay, which card to do first? <clears throat> um, we're gonna do this one first, right here. Okay. Yeah, because I'm gonna show you guys more of this, the fun embellishment kit, right? So like I said, the scarf and the mittens I'm going to show you fun. Oops, is that in the view? Very well. I have to tell you guys, though, I think I was looking in the catalog and looking at things online, and I could not figure out. I thought people were um, either using, like, our glimmer paper, glimmer shimmer paper, or maybe they were even, like, adding this with the crystal effects and the little sparklies that we have. 
what I really couldn't figure out was how people were making that super cute, like the rosy cheeks and the little nose there. Finally figured it out, ladies. They didn't do any of it. All they did was take our punch and punch that little guy out. <laughs> so I think, Kay, you even mentioned to me that the punch works to cut these things out. And obviously you make, you know, like, ends up looking like cheese, right? Your, your paper. But sometimes it's worth it. That little guy right there is what we're going to use. Can you see? On that card right there. I just love that. It was so cute. All the little detail there that I was like, how are people coloring and doing that? So I had to show you guys that because, you know, sometimes we miss these things, right? Um, even if we're, you know, on top of things, we think we know what's going on. You know, you might miss something here and there, right? So, okay. Um, let's see. We've got all... Let me make sure I have what I need here. Okay, you know what? Actually, what we're going to do first, I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and we are going to cut our cardstock. So this is a piece of real red cardstock that we are going to cut along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. That is my scoring blade, so I'm going to move that one. One of these days, I'm actually going to remember to label these things in the meantime. And we're actually going to use both of these today. So now... <clears throat> yeah, all right, I'm gonna, I'll show you the other one in a sec. So we're gonna score this along the eight and a half inch side with my scoring blade, not my cutting blade. You only do that once or twice and then you figure out how to not do that again, right? Okay, so there's our nice crisp fold on our card. We're gonna put this away for the other card and this thing as well. Okay, now what else do we need? Let me give you measurements and then I'm gonna show you some other fun things here, okay? Oops, we moved that down there so you guys can still see. Okay, so, and I've been having so much fun. Like I said, Tammy kind of inspired me to decorate the inside of my cards too. So on the inside, we have a piece. This is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches for the inside. We also have a little strip of designer series paper that goes along the bottom here. This is one inch by four inches, okay? And then for the rest of the card, we have, okay, this is a piece of Coastal Cabana. We'll flip that over. Coastal Cabana cardstock right there. Again, measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. The Whisper White layer goes over top. This one measures three and three quarters by five. Let me make sure. So I'm saying that, yep, by five, okay? So four and three and three quarters on the white, and this is five and one quarter, and then five inch on the white, okay? Then we have some more. We have this piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock that measures three and one quarter by two and three quarters, and that's gonna go right there. We have a piece of real red cardstock that measures two and three quarters by two and a half, and then one more piece of the cute little Let It Snow designer series paper with those fun little mittens on the back. I like the stripey too though. This one measures two and one quarter by two and a half. And all of these measurements I will have on my blog later on this afternoon after I get that all uploaded at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So if you didn't catch those measurements, you can either rewind or you can check later at gatheringinspiration.com. I also include item codes that for everything that we are using on our cards, um, on my blog post too this afternoon, okay? So watch for that. So then if you wanna know what's the item code for the paper or the embellishment kit or any of that stuff, it's all right there, super easy. And there's a link right there to shop as well too. So you can order anything that you need to make these cute projects as well. Okay, um, I think, oh, actually this one you do need to know. I was like, is this a scrap piece? This is the red piece right here. So this real red cardstock measures three and three quarters by one and a half, okay? And I think those are, there are a bunch of little pieces there, but those are all the measurements that you need for that. And we're actually not doing any die cutting, aren't we? So that's good. It is a little bit detailed and I realized I think I wanna grab my glasses. I'm gonna do that real quick. In the meantime here, I'll tease you with what's inside that cute little box. Give me one sec. <clears throat> okay, so this is, and let's see if they gave me the name of it. Nope, they didn't. I think it's called the Let It Snow Embellishment Kit. So it's part of that whole suite the little snowman suite in the catalog, but I love the box alone, right? Super cute. I'm gonna use up all this stuff and then I'm gonna keep this box for something fun too. Okay, so if you guys have not seen this fun little embellishment kit, they have, so I used some of those little black 
coal pieces like on his belly right there. There are some little, little actually maybe go that way, little carrot noses. And then these are the little stick arms for our snowman. There's some fun like glittery washi tape. And then, okay, these, I was like, oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use these, but I figured out a way that they're not super crazy and hopefully they cooperate with me. Little um, snow flakes, basically. So can you see on his hat, we added three little snow flakes right there to his hat, okay? Um, what else do we have? I have a little cut on my finger there. Look at, okay, you guys have to see those cute little mittens. Aren't those so fun? <laughs> little felt mittens. So you pop these things out, you get a sheet, in each of these colors, right? So this is probably Coastal Cabana. And it's funny, because it's really hard to see. You can almost see the negative, right? Where I punched out his scarf and mittens and hat there. So in Coastal Cabana, and I'm gonna say Shaded Spruce, and there's Real Red, that's where those little babies came from. And then, um, is this Pretty Peacock, I think? Pretty Peacock, fun, bright pink. So we'll have to pick which color. Maybe we'll do the pinks. Yeah, because we've already got those pulled out too. So we'll set those aside. We're going to use those on our snowman this time, I think, because I used the shaded spruce, you guys can see on that one right there. But so just a fun little embellishment kit. And then, like I said, the box is too cute. So when you're all done with this stuff, then you can just have a cute box to play with too. Okay, so let's see where to begin. I need, where's that punch? Uh-oh. It's not out here, is it? Okay, well that might just, hmm, what did I, oh, I know where it is. I put it over here. I was like, I knew I brought it. So it was in my to-go kit display. So here, snowman season stamp set and the snowman builder punch. We're gonna use those. So I'm gonna just show you this right now because this is kind of fun. This little snowman, he's too little, um, I think. It would look kind of funny if you punched him out. But this little guy over here fits perfectly inside our punch. Can you guys see that? Yes, yeah, so look at him. And this is what I was saying was where, how did they do that detail? Well, they didn't. Stampin' Up! did it on the paper. So you're gonna get some other little bits that you can punch out and save, because those are kind of cute, right? A little red on one side and blue on the other. If you want to save those for another time, right? Okay, moving that guy out of the way. All right, so let's, we're gonna start doing, we're gonna do our stamping. That's what we're gonna do next. Okay. <clears throat> so this piece goes on the outside of the card. This one goes on the inside of the card. All right, I'm gonna move that guy right up there. And ink is in, we're sharing it. Yes, here we go. Okay, so I have my, Black Memento ink. We're going to use this one first to stamp our Merry Christmas. So this one, you don't ever hear me pounding like this, but this Memento ink is a much firmer, kind of a linen ink pad. So that's the only time you're ever going to hear me making all that noise. Because if you did that with one of our other juicy ink pads, you would have ink all over the place on there. Okay, so we've got that one. Now we're gonna use Coastal Cabana. And where did we use the... I think I thought I was gonna do the other card first, so I had everything in there instead of in here. But we're doing it opposite of what I thought I was gonna do. And okay, so I want my little, my little scrap piece of grid paper <laughs> so that when I go off the edge, I don't get it on my good grid paper. Do one right there too, okay. So I got those. And then what's on the inside? Let's see. So that's the outside of the card, right? And then the inside, we did this, hoping this season builds heartwarming memories with some other little snowflakes there. So let's do that too. Okay, so we've got our sentiment. <clears throat> pound, 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 never, ever, ever again, except on a black memento ink pad. Okay, make sure we're good there. Press straight down, lift straight up. All right, that's gonna work. I got afraid as soon as I stamped that that um, I didn't ink it up well enough, but we're good. Okay, so then we're gonna do some little snowflakes. Maybe I'll do one more set, maybe right there. Yeah, okay, that's good. I could keep going and going, filling it in further and further. Okay, so that's for the other 
part of it. Okay. You guys are so quiet now. This is the part where everybody's concentrating, right? Okay, so I'm going to bring this back into view a little bit so we can see what we are doing. The other thing I know I need to do is this piece is too wide. It's two and a half inches right there. So it won't fit into our banner punch. So all I'm going to do is basically eyeball where the center is. And I'm going to, that looks pretty good, just kind of snip up and then from one corner up to where I just snipped in the middle. And I find it's easiest to flip it over rather than cutting in that way. I flip it over and do it, I don't know, maybe being right-handed, maybe it's my brain, but there we go, okay? So there's your little snip that you need for that. So now I think we can kind of start putting everything together. So just lots of layers on this card, really. It's not difficult, okay? So we've been having a lot of conversation about adhesive and how much you use. I only go around the outside edges of my cardstock. For one, if I don't like um, where I put it on a card, it's a lot easier. If you put adhesive all around the middle, it's a lot hard to pull or harder to pull up your card. So there, and I don't ever press super firmly until I know that I like it. Then I make sure to press firmly to get all that adhesive stuff down on there. Okay. So I just kind of do little flicks. I don't ever do huge long runs. <clears throat> okay, so I want to kind of line that up so I have it at about the same place. Okay, I'm going to put that one there. And then we have our Coastal Cabana piece. So just such a cute color combination. I remember a few years ago, they did this color combination, the Coastal Cabana in Real Red for Valentine's Day. We had paper... I don't even remember. I just remember paper. I had a lot of paper. And I loved it. So I'm just very happy that it's back in the rotation. So I think it's just such a fun, bright color combination. And that one's going to go right there. Okay, so we're going to add our designer series paper. And put that guy maybe right about there. Okay. All right. What else do we need? Oh, I know. We can put this on this piece right here. We'll come back to finishing this in a sec. Okay, so this is for the inside of our card. I'm gonna add this one. So isn't this so fun? Just add a little strip inside that kind of coordinates with what we've got going on the outside of the card. We can put all of this, I'm gonna put this inside our card. Okay. And then we'll put the other part on the outside of our card and then we'll get to the fun little bits of uh, building the rest of our snowman using that cute embellishment kit. Okay. Oops. When you go off the edge and you get on your grid paper, if you just rub kind of lightly, you can get that right off of there. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Cute, 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 right? Okay. So now I've got my little snowman. We are going to grab our little, that one's going to go that way, right? And we need a scarf too. So let's see. It's funny how it's a little bit harder to see. So we're gonna use this one. So some of them have stripes, if you can see, and some of them have um, the snowflakes. So I'm gonna use that little stripey guy there. Okay, and then <clears throat> trying to see what we wanna do. Let's, oh, you know what else we need to punch actually? So from, this is another little strip of the Let It Snow Designer Series paper. And I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see the little, there's just a little bit of sparkly shimmeriness on um, just some little detail, right? So all we're gonna do is slip this right inside here and we are going to carefully line it up and punch our little hat out, okay? All right, now, so actually I'm gonna move this away for a sec. I'm gonna grab this little, we need this guy. Okay, so we're gonna flip him over. We're gonna put just a little bit of adhesive on the top of his hat. I'm gonna put that there. Now the thing that I like to do, sorry if that wiggled, guys, I'm trying to press firmly, because it's this is super glittery, and I wanna make sure that it sticks on there. Okay, where are the dimensionals? I thought I brought them. Are they hiding? Oh yeah, 
They were hiding. Okay, they're over here. Okay, so we are going to, this is what I was starting to say. I like to put a dimensional so that it kind of holds the hat and the snowman body together. So if you do it like that, that'll kind of make sure that you don't lose your hat and your snowman somewhere along the way. Okay, so we're gonna do those. Um, now we can just peel these off and put them on our card, okay? Ooh, look at that bright sun. It's a beautiful, so cute. So have you guys been enjoying this product of the week over on our Facebook group? I have so much fun with those. So here we are gonna use our little stick arms, and you can't see them too well, but it was kind of just a nice little guide. And these do have um, adhesive on the back of them. I'm not gonna say glue dots because that's not really quite right, right? But okay, so we're gonna do one there and one there. Now, okay, for the fun part, uh, actually, no, not quite yet. Let's add a couple more of these little coal pieces. You know what, maybe I will try to use, oops. I like to use my paper snips. Actually, I think I did bring my, um, um, what's that called? The tool, the take your pick tool. I brought that over because I used it. So I made these cards a couple of days ago. Usually I do them on Thursday, but with work and bingo, I did them earlier this week. And so my brain is a little bit foggy <laughs> on the details. It's amazing how, you know what, a day or two after you do something, you can't, you can't quite remember all the details. Okay, so what am I looking for? Oh, these little guys right here. Okay, so where is everything? Why am I driving myself crazy? Oh, here we go. Okay, so the shimmery crystal effects. <laughs> Philomena, I'm seeing you around the snowman. Now I don't know what that means either. Sorry, I'm having these moments. But okay, so shimmery crystal effects, you can use this for the shimmeriness. It's also a great glue. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add a little dab of glue right there. And then, where's my take your pick tool? Oh, it's hiding up there. Actually, let's grab that. Okay, so we're gonna use the little, <laughs> you meant it's adorable. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna use our little sticky putty end of our take your pick tool. And eventually I'm gonna get this little baggie open. I trimmed my fingernails down so much that they're a little bit hard to see even. Okay, so I think it's almost easiest if I just take that. Oops, well, maybe this is gonna work. It did, okay. Maybe we'll pop those out. We're just gonna get, so you can see, you probably wouldn't wanna make like a million of these, but if you do a couple, we're gonna just pop. They're just so cute not to use a few of them, right? And sometimes it's that kind of meticulous, look at that. <laughs> So cute. So what I want to, I'm going to just press lightly because that glue is going to hold them in place. It's almost better not to press too much because then you tend to squish them all over the place. So there, we've got a bunch more little snowflakes in there that we can use. And then same thing. <clears throat> I used more of my shimmery crystal effects to add um, the rest of the pieces on here. I love, because this is a wider tip so it comes out really nicely. Love that shimmery crystal effects. Okay, so now we are gonna put our little scarf right there, and then we're gonna do one mitten right there. And the best thing that you can do is just kind of lay these on here and press down enough that they're gonna hold, but just don't futz with them too much. Just kind of press a little bit and then leave everything and just set it aside and let it dry for a while. So we have one last step. I thought, oh, it needed a little sparkle down here. So my handy dandy uh, holiday rhinestone basic jewels that come in many fabulous colors. So they're very versatile. You can use them for lots and lots of different things. So we are gonna just put a couple, oops. I was gonna be all slick and just make that happen quick and easy. Put a couple of little of our green rhinestones right there. So look at him. Isn't he so cute? So we've got the green scarf and mittens and then the little pink um, scarf and mittens. So cute little buddy, huh? <laughs> yes, I am so glad they brought those back too, Philomena. It's very handy. It's kind of a nice you could use your Tombow, your liquid glue, a multi-purpose liquid glue also. Um, I had this handy and it's a great glue option as well. So, okay, 
<clears throat> so there is one of our cards. I'm trying to make sure I let him dry. Okay, so now scoot things off a little bit here. Um, trying to see. I don't want to get, you know, I'll get mixed up and use the wrong stamps if I'm not careful. So, okay, I think we're good. We kind of got everything moved out of the way. So now our next card, hold on, I got to get these little bits out of the way too. There we go. Okay, so this next card we actually made last night at Bingo. Isn't that so cute? So I've been having so much fun just lately, right, with kind of decorating the inside of the card too. So you can see our cute little snowman and then the let it snow and you've got just enough room to write a little something on the inside of your card, right? Sometimes you wanna write a lot and sometimes you wanna write a little. So this is one for good for when you wanna write just a little bit, right? Okay, so I wanna show you guys um, the scoring here. So again, we have, this is a piece of our other half of our real red cardstock that measures the five and a half by eight and a half, okay? So for scoring, we're gonna do our regular score at four and a quarter inches, okay? Thank you, I'm glad you like this card too, Philomena. Okay, so we're gonna do score it once at four and a quarter, and then when you think of half of four and a quarter, do you know, you think of two and one eighth inch, Okay, so we're gonna find our two inch, and let's see, now I'm having a moment here. One, two, yep, we're gonna go right here. Two and one eighth. We're gonna score right there, I hope that was right. I, don't, I haven't used this one quite as much, so I'm not quite as comfortable with the measurements, but I think we're good. Okay, so we're gonna fold it in half, right? Hey Kim, how are you doing? And then we're gonna fold this flap, yay, I did it. Okay, good, that was the idea. So scoring it at two and one eighth. There we go, and there's our flap right there, okay? So we've got our card base cut and scored, and now let's grab the rest of these things. What all do we have here? Okay, so we got some more parts and pieces. Actually, you know what, before I get a bunch of stuff out, why don't I die cut? We're gonna die cut everything? Yeah, yep, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we need, let me show you guys. So we need um, let's see, we've got our real red right here. Okay, so we're gonna do an oval right there. And then we're gonna do a scallop oval in white. And then the same size, you can see that red oval covers that white oval perfectly, okay? So there we go. Let's cut all three of those pieces and then we will do our stamping. And I'll tell you about measurements for that other designer series paper too, okay? So we have our die cutting machine. And let's see, where are my ovals? My oval, we are using the Layering Ovals Collection Framelits, and I finally have them neat and tidy in here. We're actually using the largest straight edge and the lar largest scallop edge, okay? Oops, I should go that way, yep. So, if that makes sense, right? That one and that one, we are using the largest of each. Actually, hold on one sec, it's not. The largest straight edge and actually the second largest, because that's the largest, so there's the next one, the second largest scallop edge. Oh, okay, you're gonna head out. Thanks for watching, Dina. I'm so glad you can join us. All right, so let's see, what do we got? Yep, we're all good to go. All right, so we're gonna do one there and one there. See if we can do, we're gonna have to cut, we have to do the white one again, right? Make sure I can fit it all. Actually, you know what we can do? Let's turn this one sideways. Okay, we got that one there. We got that one there. Okay, so we have our magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath, and then we have our paper and our die with the cutting edge down so it makes the cut, right? And then we had one more clear piece on top. So there's that cutting edge. You wanna make sure that's pointing down, right? Okay. Same thing here, I'm gonna pop that guy out. That cutting edge was down. And we're gonna do this one more time because we need one more big white oval there. <clears throat> so this is Whisper White and Real Red cardstock. And again, I'll have all of those details over on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com later on this afternoon. Okay, there we go. All right, we are done with our die cutting. Okay, here we go. Where's my card? I need to have it 
right out in front of me, don't I? So I know what I'm doing. Oh, I also wanted to give you measurements for this piece of designer series paper right here. Measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. You get that in the view, right? And then this one right here, where are my little notes? I have my notes somewhere here. I wanna make sure I give you proper measurement. This one is one and seven eighth by five and a quarter, okay? For that piece right there. Oh, and then there's another little strip. This is a half an inch wide by four inches, well, tall. I guess a half inch tall by four inches there, okay? All right, so we got all of those. So now let's do our stamping, and I'm gonna actually use this little pad under, oops, sorry, everything's flinging all over the place. And that sun is super bright. It's okay though, isn't it? It's a little bit of a glare, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go with it today. Okay, my black ink, that's what I'm looking for, my black memento ink. And I guess I didn't pull my stamps out yet, okay. You need that one, and that one. I'm gonna do just a little bit of coloring too. Okay. We got this. All right, so here's our cute little snowman throwing snow up in the air or just throwing his arms up in the air. Happy that it's snowing, right? Okay, so here we go. Put that down. I hovered awfully close, hopefully. Yep, that worked out. I thought I kind of smudged some ink on there when I did that at first. All right, and then on the inside, we've got our let it snow with more of those cute little, I don't know, there's something about those snowflakes that I just love. Okay, so we've got let it snow. I'm gonna do that right there. I'm gonna scoot our black ink out of the way so I don't cause any trouble. I do like to put this piece down because I'm gonna go kind of over the edge. That way I don't stamp all over my stamp and pierce mat. I've got more, this is um, Coastal Cabana ink again. One of my favorite, I love all those shades of blue, right? So we're gonna stamp that there, stamp that there. Just do a couple, because we want to leave enough room if you want to write something on the inside, but add enough little fun to that as well, okay? All right, I think we're good with that. Okay, now we are going to do just a, just a tiny bit of coloring. So we are going to start, so these are my Stampin' Blends. I used, and we were talking about how tight they are. I think they have to be that tight um, because they're alcohol-based markers, and they would dry out otherwise. Okay, so put a little, can you guys see that? He's like just in the, there. There we go, move it over just a tiny bit. Okay, and then we are going to use, this is Bermuda Bay. I used all of the dark markers because I really wanted it to be pretty vibrant. Okay, so we're gonna color the top of his hat. I really wanna get my face down in here further, um, but the camera's in the way. I would normally have my face like right up against there, I think. Okay, we're gonna just do the best we can. I love the skinny tip though, that's, um, and if you just go real lightly, I think that's the way to do it, okay? So again, you're probably, I don't know, if you love to color, I was gonna originally say, maybe you're not gonna make a million of these, but if you love to color, this is a fun little thing to do. There, okay, so there's our Bermuda Bay dark. Now we're gonna use, did I say Flirty Flamingo? I don't, I think I might've said um, Pretty Peacock earlier on a pink, but this is Flirty Flamingo. So if I did earlier, that was way off because that's a blue and I was talking about a pink. That was like probably on the last card, maybe for the um, little embellishment kit I was talking about. I don't know, I have, a, I have this thought in my head that I said the wrong name. Maybe I didn't, but probably I did. Okay, so there we go. Our Flirty Flamingo and Bermuda Bay striped hat and scarf. And then I used, and this one was a little tricky for me um, because I used this, what color is this? Let's make sure I, I'm giving you the right name. Yep, it's a light smoky slate. So this one I did use a light color. There, I think I like that better. Last time I was too heavy handed on there, so I brought this uh, color lifter with me 
if I needed to kind of lift off any of that color. But I, I like that. I think that's better. Just kind of lightly swirled and not filled in. So you've got some white kind of peeking through. So there is our cute little yay, roo -hoo, right? Hooray, it's snowing snowman, okay? So that's gonna go right on this big red oval right here, okay? <clears throat> All right, so we've got this one. We're gonna pop that guy right on there. Then let's see, what else? Actually, we can put this little piece right on there too. Where is my little silicone? Everything's all over the place, there we go. Okay, so I wanna add just a little bit of adhesive to this piece of designer series paper. Okay, we're gonna pop that one right there. And it looks like maybe that's a little bit wide, so in my analness. I have to just trim that off a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this can go on the inside of our card. All right, look at those cute snowmen. So this is the back side. We're obviously not using this piece, but look at how cute those guys are, right? So these are teeny tiny. You wouldn't be able to punch these out with your snowman builder punch because they're like baby snowmen, but they're kind of a fun little design there. Okay, so now I will tell you, last night when we were making this card, people tended to put this piece down, but I think you really want to do this one first because you want to line up where you want this, and then you can line up that piece behind it. But actually, first of all, we're going to add our designer series paper. <laughs> Just such a happy card. Yes, it is. It does make you smile, Philomena. It definitely does. Those little snowmen, they do that, don't they? They just make you smile just by looking at them. You have got that right. Okay, so we're gonna put that piece there. Now, the other thing to remember is you don't wanna put adhesive behind this side. You only want it over here because if you did that, then this would stick down there and you wouldn't be able to open the card up, okay? So we are gonna just carefully make sure we only put adhesive on that half. And like I said, I liked to line this up so I got it where I wanted. First of all, I'm gonna rub firmly, and then we're gonna add some adhesive on the back of our let it snow piece. And what I found was it was almost easiest to try to kind of line up that white piece behind the red and then lay it down. And as long as you like where it looks and it lines up, then we can press firmly on there, right? talk to anybody. I'm getting a quick phone call there. We'll, I'll return that call afterwards. Okay, so now we are just going to add a few of these cute little rhinestones. So actually, we're going to put one. I had to put a couple on the inside too. Okay, and maybe that one right there. And then a couple more just kind of randomly on the front of my card. Okay, and one, oops, oh, I didn't have that. That's not where I wanted it. Okay, move him over there. And then one more, these little bits. I usually, honestly, just use my fingers. It's almost as easy for me to do it like that. Okay, so there we go. You're right, Philomena, such a happy card, makes you smile. This glare is kind of making me not smile though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yes, fun, bright, beautiful, sunny day here in Michigan, that's for sure. Freezing cold, but sunny and bright. So I hope you guys enjoyed these cute little snowmen cards. Hopefully you've enjoyed that product of the week all week long on our Facebook group. Um, I have another fun product of the week next week to share with you guys, but we'll be talking about that next week on Monday throughout the week and then on next Friday's Facebook Live. So don't forget, I will have all of the item codes, um, measurements, details, everything that you need to know about these two cards on my blog at Gathering Inspiration in just a little while this afternoon. If you are so interested in ordering any of the products that we use to make these cards, make sure you use the host code. This is the new one for November, the NG6V. T D E C. Okay, you use that. You order online at least $30. You're going to get these cards that I demonstrated. You are going to get a package of those. Uh, where did they go? Oh, they're over here. The 
star designer elements if you order at least $50 and your name goes into the drawing to win the hammered metal 3D embossing folder. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's Facebook Live. It was so good to be back with you guys and we will see you right here next Friday, Facebook Live at 1130. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend. Thank you.